Here we have a photograph of the border crossing at uh, Vorbis, which was built around 1974 or thereabouts. So it is a, a new crossing uh, between East and West Germany. Uh, and it was not one of those ones which was there before, because in most cases they gradually closed, in all cases I think, except for this, uh, they gradually closed them all, and then this one was uh, this one was open. Now let's have a look through on this map what would actually happen. Uh, there we have the picture, and there we have it is not a map; it's a, it's a drawing. So first control will be coming through there. Um, uh, in fact, that was more that stop people uh, getting out uh, than than being something which happened to them as they came in. As you came in, anybody ever did this? Of course, will not not have forgotten it. Uh, so you've got some preliminary checks there. I remember these things as being very cursory, you know, just like the sort of thing you get, get today. Um, as at Helmstedt, there was a big building which um, guarded the, uh, uh, oversaw everything which was uh, in the uh, border control point. We can see it here. Uh, in this case, it's obviously been there for some time. In Helmstedt, it was built uh, specifically. That building controlled all the electronics which were needed for the border crossing. Um, then we come into the place here with the cars where the controls were actually made and uh, um, if you, once I was in a situation where my girlfriend didn't have a passport on her, or passport was out of date, uh, going to East Germany with a dodgy passport, uh, it was noticed and for a rather small sum as I recall, maybe 10, 15, 20 if I remember marks, uh, we got a temporary passport. And uh, this is what happened here. I'm not certain of the money, but it wasn't much. Uh, no, I just can't remember how much it was. Um, so there'll be that. There you have the customs control. Um, and uh, obviously the East German authorities wanted to get enough, as much information as they could about people. And so they would actually they, they do it there. Um, now, I can recall uh, being at a customs point, not this one of course, but at Helmstedt, uh, waiting for well over three hours, and the person I was with told me he'd never been through so quickly, and there was nobody else there. Um, so the only thing they seemed interested in was what books and printed material we had. Uh, so I mean, we could take as much drugs and guns and all the rest of it as we wanted, but I mean, books, obviously, you wanted to control that as much as you could. Um, some cars were taken out for inspection in garages, it was like a trench, uh, as you see many mechanics uh, uh, places, uh, you, you have a look under there, that stick things in the fuel tanks and see what you had in there and um, possibly if they were really wound up they might check what was under your seats. Uh, this is the building I'm in now I think, I think. And if you uh, wanted to leave the, uh, East Germany, um, if you're allowed to do so, you'd have to do it there. Uh, not many people do that before I allowed to leave. And there you come through, 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 and there you're on your merry way. And there we can see how close the town is in East Germany to the border point. And um, there may have been buildings even further down before then which were, were cleared, I don't know. Uh, having said that, the fields are quite clearly being worked. Uh, so uh, people could get relatively close to the border. You see the hay there waiting to be uh, collected in the field. This is the mill tower that was used as the control point at the, uh, for the border crossing here. And uh, so I'm now going up the stairs to see the, uh, the view as would be held by the uh, people controlling what was going on here and the first thing you see and looking down here I just try to try and I just try to turn the lights off so it wouldn't be a shadow but I wasn't successful in that there's the uh, du crossing at Duderstadt quite clearly visible from here bang the border that's where the border was now this was an old mill tower the mill dates back to like 14th century or something like that but this thing was built in 1930 following a damage which I believe happened several times over the years. This is the only place I know of where an existing structure was built into the security apparatus. Uh, so by the time this came the control tower, this was when the border crossing was opened on the 21st, 22nd of June uh, 1972 and oh, 73, can't remember now. Um, you can see quite clearly where the border was. 
very, very, very clearly. Oh, there's people walking up there to uh, more more. So, I apologise once more for seeing the shadow in here. Now, uh, it is somewhat similar to the control uh, thing in uh, Helmstedt, which you can see on another film of mine. Uh, the difference here, however, is that this is much, much smaller. This border point here was opened uh, to take for local traffic uh, in the agreement of 1972, which allowed theoretically East Germans to go to the west if they wanted them. People there from Durstadt down there, if they want to go to Vobis down here, which they could also do. And uh, so here, standing here today, uh, we can see looking looking to what there's the administration building where the museum is today uh, But most of the other things have gone although some of the car parking bays and what have you are still there clearly very clearly visible uh, As is at Modlar right where I was uh, six weeks ago. There's a West German helicopter that was made in France is made by Eurocopter you can see some other buildings as well there, also administrative buildings, which would have been used, I presume, by the, uh, the, the uh, East German authorities. Uh, the bridge, which looks pretty new to me. don't see it in any of the photographs either, so I'm not terribly certain why the bridge is actually there. Um, the bridge to get up there, there's a convent, oh there's a church up there, maybe not so. That's the one. something looks like a church, which isn't in any of the photographs. Here we have a photograph of the border crossing, which is around 1987. And you can see no bridge, no uh, border crossing. And But here is the mill in the bottom left hand corner. There's the mill. And that's where I am now. So you can see all that. Um, we also have here a long photograph. So you can see what it looked like. Um, and here we are going down to the, uh, the, the, the border point with the uh, Stasi building there and passport control entry into the GDR now the vehicle barrier and the border there we are and the border fence is quite clean in the picture and there's the border as it is today uh, just to the right uh, it's not at all clear where it was, really. Um, I mean, looking at the photo, I could probably work it out. But uh, the the thing here is that because the amount of um, uh, things used against vegetation, weed killers and what have you, uh, these in some cases they used the maximum amount, but as much as they could. Uh, other times they didn't use the maximum amount because they couldn't. Uh, there was a lack of it. Uh, but this had very long-term effects on the uh, vegetation. Of course, I mean, 20 years after it had been applied, uh, it's not still going to be there. But it does affect things like such as the size of vegetation and what have you. And this is this is this is absolutely obvious in many in many many places. Uh, here we can have to see a bit more. There's the crossing with Duderstadt. Duderstadt is visible. Uh, when this photograph was taken, there was uh, fewer trees than there is today. And this must be an East German photograph. Oh, and there's a picture of when this was being built. Um, so this was a viewing platform in May 1973. Obviously got some security stuff here. There's, there's a light, a searchlight, and there's another searchlight. All pretty interesting stuff. And Excellent museum here, which I totally recommend if you ever get the chance to come here, do so. I mean, it's well off the beaten track, but uh, definitely worth seeing. There's still quite a lot of these things to be seen. Um, you can see the uh, on the motorway between, if you're going to Berlin, for example, the main one, Helmstedt Marienborn, you've got this uh, structure from the DDR, except there they've taken the uh, insignia away. And here, Dieterstadt, Ecklingerode, border crossing, the uh, or former border crossing, I should say. They've still got the DDR insignia. I remember this so clearly. The first time I came here, uh, when they, it was this big gate on the uh, on the railway line with this uh, 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 logo on it. I think logo is the right word. And uh, it opened and uh, letting us into the uh, the DDR. And uh, that's it.
and uh, the board in this case is just down there. You can possibly make it out. Well, I can make it out, but then again, I'm uh, looking at it in real life, and you're going to have to look at it on this computer screen. Uh, there's, a, there's a map up there. The same map I actually use all over the place, saying it's like Community of Europe or something like that. Uh, and that's just down there. Today is Saturday the 6th of November 2010. It's been pouring with rain and I'm pretty cold. Uh, just walking outside now. Um, but it's... Uh, it's very nice to be here, and uh, you can see that my other films on this border point here. Um, in those days, they didn't have one of these things here, though. You see, this is something. This, this is something new. This is because it cost three euros to get into the uh, exhibition, and um, that's to, to stop. Uh, I presume people are nipping without paying. Though I must say, model R, right? I almost had an argument to make them make them take my money off me. Um, the bridge is new. I presume it's the. Cl cl that um, make contact with that church up there, and here, this was the uh, well, that's really the death strip. Oh, and there's a map. Do you know what you're doing? That's handy. There you have it.